Without assistance from the park attendant, we twice took our canoes through locks. The locks are there to allow boats to bypass a series of rapids and waterfalls, which would require a portage and prevent most boats from traveling between the two lakes. These manually operated locks consist of a watertight basin, known as a lock chamber, which is used to raise or lower the water level as required. Our canoes, and us, and other boats are raised or lowered by filling or emptying the lock chamber. Gates at each end of the lock allow the canoes to enter and leave. Partner back there is doing a good job keeping us straight while I'm taking pictures here. And we're approaching the, uh, the upper lock to get into the middle. So just coming around the corner now. Paul and Lundy are approaching the lock to the middle Sarnak. And we're going to be following them in. Ooh, it looks like there may be help here. I'm not sure. Sometimes we have to do it ourselves to get through. And other times there's a, an a, assistant. So we'll see. There's somebody there. What happens now, we're in the lower Sarnak. So, oh, it, oh, it looks like the people that went by us in the boat are there, so we're going to be going in at the same time as they do. So we're going to go in, in the locks here. Perfect timing, he says, okay. Going into the upper locks. Everybody gets hurt. And there's going to be a power boat there with us here, and they're going to close the gate on the left here. You watch this. Okay. So we're letting the water in now. So. So this, the water should be coming up then. Well, as soon as he opens both gates. Those are little doors. He's the doors. You can see it coming in there. See the water coming up here? As he opened up the gates there. So this little tub that we're in here is pretty soon it's going to be equal as high as the middle Sarnak. And when it says high, then the water will stop rushing in. He's going to open up the gates up there. And we're going to paddle out. And now, if you want to know what was happening here, this is how do you operate this. These are the operating in instructions here. Something. So we would have had to do this, but this gentleman was there. And uh, so we're going upstream. So it's the one on the left side, the directions that we're using now. No? No. Okay, Dendi, what do you think? I think we're almost up. Almost up? Got another four or five inches, three inches. What do you think, Paul? Got anything to say? Yeah, so now, see, now he's opening it. It's the pressure is okay. up that he can open it. He's opening the gate now. It's relieved the pressure. And, and now we're getting up to the same height as the middle serenade. Now we're the same level. We've come up to the same level as the middle Sarnak. He's opening the up the whole thing now, so we so we don't have to squeeze out. We can just paddle out. It's <laughs> very easy. Just like Frank Delman. <laughs> Perfect timing. Couldn't be any better. Nice job, Tim. And the, and now the next person will do the opposite on the other side, coming towards us. If they're coming towards us, it's already open. They'll drive right in and let the water down and, and then now drive out. approaching the lock between upper, between middle Sarnak and lower Sarnak. 
and there's a stream here that's going to be pulling us we have a current going our way now and it says don't danger five miles per hour upper locks we came through here two days ago in the late afternoon the lock is open for us right here it looks like it so this is at our level so Tim's going to paddle in here and then uh, one of us will get out and do the work for opening or shutting the gates behind us and then opening the uh, gates that you can see at very, very front of us right up there so that we can uh, then float out. So we are higher now than Lower Sanac. We are higher now than Lower Sanac. You feel that right away. to hold right on here because we're going to be pulled right right through here when the uh, so they're letting the water out as you can see the water is dropping here they, they're gently opening the gates so the water will drain out this is all a manual process it's not electric at, at this particular one here Tim's on one side. Seeing us dropping, you can see the water going down. Okay, now we're almost at the lake level, so the gates will now open. Not by themselves, but with all and Tim are opening up the gates and when they give the word Dundee and I will go through so there's Dundee going through and I'm going through right behind him so you get the experience of what it's like in going through the locks now we're going to stop and get out of here and we're going to take a break.